Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another cool video for you. And I just wanted to show you something awesome on my Facebook channel, which you're all welcome to friend us. Uh, when you go to this channel, you will see tons of posts by students uh, showing off the cool things that they've done in Tinkercad. And right now I'm gonna take one of those projects that was created by Abby, and I'm gonna turn it into a Tinkercad video. So let's get cracking. So Abby spent nine weeks with me in my computer's one class and learned quite a bit about Tinkercad and she has made a lot of neat designs. I'm going to name mine Cute Cat MDH. She is a super big fan of the sphere. That is what she did for the head of the cat. And she took that head and she squished it a little bit so it wasn't as thick. Notice this little black handle changes it in just one direction so that you can find a number that you like. You can see here on January 22, that is the cat's face that I'm making. Hers was actually squished a little bit thinner, so I'm going to try and keep it as close to the original as I can. I'm going to stay with 20 millimeters across because that's a good design, and I'm going to give it eyes with that same sphere. I'm going to use an awesome trick called shift drag, where I hold shift and drag one corner till it's the size of what I want my eyeball to be. I'm going to pick a fun color for the eyeballs. And then I'm going to use fit view to selection to zoom in on the eyeballs. And I'm going to do white with a black inside by using duplicate, which is control D. I'm going to pull that duplicate away. I'm going to hold shift in one corner and I'm going to shrink that one down a little bit. I'm going to use the cone to lift that one up and make it black. So he is going to have cute little eyeballs or she's going to have cute little eyeballs that can look to either side. If I want to be more precise, I can change the movements and adjust it how I want using those little skills. This lifts it up and down. I'm going to make mine so it looks to the left. When I group that, you'll notice it all turns white. And when we print, it's only going to be one color anyhow. But if I turn on multicolor, then we can see it in every direction. I'm going to take my little grouped piece and move it close to where I want. I'm going to click on the blue sphere and do fit view to selection. Now I can take that adorable little eyeball and lift it up to where I want and use the arrow keys to nudge it into place. When I'm happy, I'm going to do control D to duplicate and I'm going to move the other eye to the other side. Now, right now he's looking totally to the left. What if you wanted one eye left, one eye right? You could simply hit the flip tool and then use the little arrows to flip it the other way. That's how easy it is to make our little cat's eyes look as awesome as we want. I'm gonna pull that out a couple, and now I'm happy. I do think I'm gonna flip it back so he looks the same way though. I'm gonna take those parts and I'm going to group them, and then I'm gonna take a break from doing the face and I'm gonna do the body out of a cylinder because I wanna show you something about cylinders. First, let's make it nice and round by changing the sides and then use this tool to get to the corner view so you can find this rotation handle and snap it to 90 degrees. If we line these all up, I'm going to drag a box that touches them all, it says two shapes, and I can center it so it's lined up. And I'm going to center it this way, and then I'm going to click on the orange one, change my grid uh, one millimeter again, and then I'm going to just use the arrow keys to pull it back to where I want it to be. Orbit around and take a look. My cat's body's pretty cool, but now I need to lift my head up. And I'm gonna move that head out in front. So I do want it attached. Nothing prints if it's not attached. But then I've got my cat's body. Now I don't want my cat to be porky, so I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna squeeze him down to a smaller size. Grab the entire project again, do that align tool and center it. And then I'm going to take a look at it from the front. Notice you can just click the corner and it spins around. And check it out. You've got a cat with its cute little body. I'm going to raise its body up one click so that its little legs will be touching, but the body is not. And speaking of legs, let's move to the legs and let me show you the amazing technique that Abby has done to make sure that it prints successfully. So we're going to just bring out a sphere. And we're going to take that sphere and we're going to shrink it in every direction by holding shift and squishing it down. When you've got the right thickness for your legs, and I'm going to go for seven millimeters, then make it nice and tall. 
then take this rounded edge, which would be horrible to print off, and push it below zero. So just grab this arrow and push it down. I'm going to use fit view. I'm going to look at it from a corner and I'm going to squish it just a little more so it's more cat size. And that is what I like. And now I am going to cut off the bottom of this foot so it's got a flat place to build on. This technique is so important for learning how to 3D print. Uh, giving yourself a flat location to print from makes everything easier. So now I'm going to take the push pull and I'm going to just push it down so it's right below zero. And then when I grab those two pieces, notice it has two shapes, and I group it, I have now got a flat piece to build off of. You'll notice mine is below zero one click. Watch this trick. If I grab everything and hit the letter D, it drops it to the perfect work plane. Now I can click on my foot, do control D, or my leg, that's a better way, and I can move it where I want. I'm going to click on both of these, and I'm going to do control D again, and I'm also going to use the arrow keys, and I'm going to look at it from the front. Love using this view cube to switch, and now when I use the arrow keys, it can move across to the exact location I want. Let's zoom out to home, check out our adorable little kitty. It is starting to have a lot of potential, but it's missing things like kitty ears, kitty whiskers, and a kitty tail. You could also do cool things like kitty toes. You can do kitty anything, but let me show you how to do the whiskers. When printing your whiskers, it is important to have them slope up. So I'm going to bring out a piece of scribble, and then I'm simply going to draw a whisker until it's done. When it comes in, I'm going to make it one millimeter thick. I'm going to do one of those corner views so that I can rotate it easily. Pop, pop. And now I'm going to bring it over to the face using the arrow keys. And I'm going to lift it up and make sure that it's stuck in the kitty cat's face. I'm going to do that by looking at it from the left so I can just nudge it back in. So having it totally connected like that makes it so it's possible. But now I'm going to squeeze it down so it's a little smaller. That's more like what I'm looking for. Check that side again to make sure it's connected. Click, click. Yeah, that's good. So now I'm going to do Control D. I'm going to raise it up. And I'm going to rotate it. Let's look at it from the front so we're sure we got the right rotation handle. Notice now I'm moving a long ways away. That lets me do littler movements. And I'm going to do Control D again. So now there are three of them. And then I'm going to just nudge those using those arrow keys again until I'm really, really happy. Looks like I'm going to have to set my grid to point 0.1 to really get them lined up. And then you got to use the pull handle to lift it to the right height. These you can use the arrow keys to nudge them to the right spot. When you've got three whiskers that you dig, you can group them all. I'm going to hold down shift and click each one. So notice it says three shapes. I'm going to group them. I'm going to adjust them a little bit. Nudge them. I'm going to make them gray whiskers even though they're all going to print the same. And then I'm going to make a second set of whiskers by doing control D and flipping them the other way. You can see your flips a lot better if you look at it from the angle. And then you can click somewhere else and nudge it into place. kitty whiskers. Tweak and adjust until you're happy happy. I'm gonna rotate mine just a little if I can ever grab that rotate handle. And I think that'll work out fine. I'm gonna give it a little kitty cat smile. I'm gonna do that also with scribble. In Scribble, this is going to look like this. If you ever don't like what you do in Scribble, you can undo, you can clear, you can start over. I'm going to stay with that one. I'm going to make it kitty cat pink. I'm going to look at it from that corner so I can rotate it. There's my magic rotation handle. Remember, if you stay close to the shape, it uses these long tick marks. If you move your mouse away from the shape, you can do little itty bitty ones. 
I'm going to slope mine a little bit up because when it prints, it's easier for the printer that way. I'm going to push it in, and then I'm going to use the arrow keys to push it back where it goes, but I want my grid to be set at one millimeter. Look at it from the side, lift it up, make sure it's connected. This time I'll look at it from the right because it doesn't matter which of those we use. And I'm going to fit few to selection too so I can see that it's connected. Flatten that out just a little. I'm going to shrink it with the black handles this time because then it only moves in one direction. And it's kind of a cool way to just adjust as you build and pick where you want it. You can pull it in and out to get it so it's more connected. I'm really liking that, and I'm going to call it good. I'm going to just lift it up a millimeter. I'm liking that cat. He just needs ears. Let's do the ears with the sphere. Once again, I'm going to hold down shift and shrink everything till it's skinny ear size, and then I'm going to stretch it real tall. I'm going to look at it from the side because I want to make it thin. That's a good ear size. Make it a little shorter because it's a cat ear, not a bunny ear. Let's make it pink. And let's pull it into place. Now a lot of this ear is going to be sitting inside the cat's head. And that's cool. I don't mind that. It's actually what I'm shooting for. And then if you look at it closely, I'm going to do the fit view to selection. I want to use this black handle that's hiding under the eyeball to get my ear to the right shape. And then I'm going to rotate it to the right angle. I think right there is what I want. And then once again, click that ear. Use the Control D to duplicate. Flip that. Click somewhere else. Click the new one and move it to the other side. And you've got two ears. If you're feeling really talented, you could do this again with an inside shape. And you would have separate ears. You could also cut out one so you'd have curved ears. There are so many options for what you can do to make this look as awesome as you want. Last piece before I cut you loose to make yours more epic is to add a cat tail and check out how easy this is using Scribble. Just pick your cat's tail design, draw it out as much as you want, do it any shape you want, and then when you're done, attach it to your adorable little kitty. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to take a look at it. It's groovy. I'm going to go to that corner view I've showed you a couple times so it's easy to rotate. I'm going to stay close to the shape so it snaps at the 90 degrees. I'm going to make it thinner. And my crazy cat is going to be a calico cat. He's got an orange body, a blue head, and a black tail. Because doggone it, it's mine and I can do what I want. Let's switch to that one millimeter move, or I'll even go crazy. I'll do a two millimeter move. Just use the arrow keys to get it close. I'm going to group everything else that I did so that way none of these adjust. I'm going to put my tail in the center by grabbing everything, selecting a line, and centering it just like that. I'm going to lift it up to the height I want my tail to be. And I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it in so it's attached. My tail, my tail is really, really tall. So I'm going to actually uh, shrink it a little. I'm going to shrink it like that, but then I'm going to lift it up. And I am going to group that all and call it finished. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you see how much fun you can have making yours custom and epic. If you do make something incredible, please share it with us at HLModTech on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. If you enjoyed the video, please hammer that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. Got a question or a comment or even a suggestion, add it down below and click notifications if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Happy tinkering.